Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with Tech the Solutions. Hope that you guys are all having an amazing Monday. We just wrapped up my live trading session with my LPP team. So uh, if you ever wanna watch me trade live, I hope that you guys know that it's the second link in the description to this video. I trade live with them every single morning. Uh, just so you guys can see where I'm at for the day, uh, $14,500 is what I'm up. We're shorting the NASDAQ market. NASDAQ market continues to drop. Uh, this was all caught during our live. I mean, direction was simply in our favor. I began to add more to the SQQQ position when it began to indicate more signs of an uptrend. It pulled on back, added more on the dip. It continued to indicate signs of an uptrend. We did get a, a short period where there was a break of pattern. I ended up having to reduce my position size and that was actually caught in the live session. We found a support at the moving average. We broke back above EMA, returning back to that bullish pattern. I re-entered, I stepped on the gas when direction was in our favor. And then we became very overbought and now I reduced my position size once again. So at one point, I think I had around 6,500 shares. Now I'm down to 500 shares, reducing my position size at overbought levels in preparation for a pullback so I can kind of redo this whole thing, right? If an opportunity does present itself where it pulls on back, I can buy the dip. Even if it breaks above, I can always re-enter. But the biggest thing is anytime that you're at an overbought level or at a level where it's showing signs of a resistance that you never hesitate to lock in profits, right? Uh, if you didn't pay attention, the NASDAQ market broke below 11,000, which was a very significant support. We were waiting for that break below and when it did, that's when we really began to step on the gas and when I think that selling pressure really took off. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's really just it for us, QQQ. I'm waiting to see if the market begins to indicate any signs of a reversal. Uh, I do think that we're um, pretty close to a support, but again, my job's not to predict the future. My job is just to prepare for it. For those that are unaware, uh, I just wanna make sure that you guys are made aware of this. On Thursday, there's going to be um, CPI data report and on Wednesday there's going to be a PPI report so this is the producer price index and then this is a consumer price index again these are the inflation reports this is super important for you guys to prepare for right tomorrow we don't have any real serious type of report it all kind of gets started on Wednesday and then another one on Thursday and friendly reminder I am going to be sorry there's construction being done at my house so uh, Friendly reminder that there is going to be uh, one of these reports and it's going to be one hour before the market opens. I'm gonna be hosting the live stream, so just another reason on why you guys should subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so already. And we're going to be live streaming how the market reacts to the CPI data report, also known as the inflation report. If this CPI data report comes in worse than expected, meaning that it shows that inflation has not peaked, if you think that the market is oversold now, just know that the cheap can always get cheaper, especially with our last CPI data report, the core CPI actually increased. It went from 5.9 to I think about 6.1 or 6.3. That is not good especially with the talk of oil prices now beginning to rise once again, and then uh, OPEC reducing their production by 2 million barrels a day. I do not think that this is going to be a positive catalyst for up and coming CPI data reports. So again, something that we have to follow up with. As of right now, I'm just taking it day by day. I still think that it's a great job to prepare for long-term plays. Preparing does not mean that you need to buy, it just means simply creating a plan of action. Again. We break this down every single day. So if you wanna watch me trade live again as soon as tomorrow at Market Open, make sure you click the second link down below and join our Learn Plan Profit Group so you can get access to one of those daily live trading sessions. So if you have any questions about what we talked about today, feel free to send me a direct message via Discord. That's that first link in the description or feel free to send me a direct message via Instagram. That's that third link down below. I'm using the Webull trading platform. It's a free application. Uh, if you use the fifth link in the description, you will earn 12 free stocks when you simply deposit $1. You have to use that link. You get 12 free stocks when you deposit $1. I get one free stock. So I really do appreciate guys' time. Hope that we earned your thumbs up. I'm gonna be heading on over to the TechBuds HQ. So if you're part of our Learn Plan Profit Group, you also get access to the HQ. And I hope to see some of you guys there. Just make sure you send me a direct message if you plan to visit. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.